My name is Karen Alder and I'm going to show you today how to create the Bright Statement Lip. It was something that was featured heavily in the Spring Summer 13 catwalk shows and also is something that I really, really love. The trick is to keep your eyes really simple and innocent and just make the whole emphasis on your lips. So we're going to pop a little bit of this By Terry Touche Velouté just on the places where you might want to even things out and almost bluff the lip line. Because I want Stephanie's lips to be more kind of rosebuddy for this look. You can even pop a little here on your cupid's bow, help enhance the pout. And now I'm gonna use Lipstick Queen's Invisible Lip Liner. It's amazing. Anyone who's worrying about feathering, this is like a clear wax that stops that from happening and it really does work. So where I've cheated Steph's lip line, I'm going to put the wax liner where I actually want her lip to finish. It gives this wonderful definition. And what I would do is just blend those edges. Now for the fun bit. We're gonna get on the color. And this one is fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's the perfect hot pink. It's by Lipstick Queen and it's called Hot Rose. So with a little brush, load up the color. Just get that onto the lips. Don't worry about going up to the edges yet while you're getting the colour on because we're going to perfect that shape in a minute. And get right in the corners. And as this colour's going on, you can see the skin is really lifting. All of a sudden, the look's coming together. It's always good to blot and reapply. I'm going to show you how Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist used to do the Marilyn Red Lips. Take one ply of the tissue and you pop it on your mouth like this. And you've got some translucent loose powder, so pop it in the powder, shake off the excess, and push this through the tissue like this. It's also really, really good to create this season's matte brush. Then we're going to put the next coat on, and this gives your lipstick real staying power. And you can basically do as many layers of that as you like. I'm going to do one more. One ply of the tissue, and push the powder through the tissue. One last layer of this wonderful Hot Rose Lipstick by Lipstick Queen. Right, Stephanie, a bit of model participation here. Are you ready? This is the best trick for not getting lipstick on your teeth. You've basically got to go like this. Come on. And then look, the excess comes off on your finger. I promise you won't get any lipstick on your teeth. Thank you, darling. Well done. It doesn't look like it actually needs that much blusher or contouring or anything. So I'm just going to do a few little tweaks here with a bit of blusher, tiny little bit of an illuminator, and we're away. So I'm using the amazing Too Shakespeare by By Terry again, in number one. Just a little bit under the eyes. And do a little bit here, just in the corners of the eyes, because we tend to go a little bit darker there. And just pat gently, no pulling till this sinks in and disappears. Now, if you just smile for me, we're not going to put the blusher here. This is the new way to do it. You pop it here with the angled brush in a little mini banana shape, almost like a, a semicircle, a half moon. This one is a real favourite of mine, as you can see. It's called Shy and it's by Shantikai. It's just bringing this beautiful, natural, rosy flush and this is something I think that gets lost with a synthetic brush. And then last but not least is the Shurmura Instant Glow. I will just pop a little bit on the back of my hand. It's just for that lovely dewy finish and enhances the cheekbones and highlights. There we go. Thanks, Josh.